The music. Can we still talk about the music in this game? Definitely sets the tone for Red Dead Redemption 2. We're on our way to meet the others, and last episode we heard some pretty interesting stories, sad stories, and also... There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Oh, okay. I guess we're... I'll jump on. Okay. Let's go. Come on. So we're actually near the camp. That's good. Okay, let's go. So it's right here. Any trouble we getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. For now, keyword. Until Dutch messes up and then we have to go on the run again for the hundredth time in a row. This is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video. Are, home sweet home. Share my video. Comment because I just love talking to you guys. And most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please. That way you can get daily gaming content from me. We have survived. For now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. Oh, we have he all made is. Mistakes over the years, Hosea. Hosea is. Last one of us. It's just you know. But I kept us together. Kept us the tea's alive. real. Kept the nooses off our neck. For now, Dutch. For now. Guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. We're safe them, as he has a bullet Sam, hole on his hat. Months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Ironically. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, yeah, Dutch. We are itinerant workers. Laid off yeah, and Dutch. Shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Just now like... Be sensible out there. Just like church. Now, a slice of your paycheck. Mr. Morgan, come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Damn, she's rude as hell. All right, so in my little sleeping quarters, I can shave, sleep. All that good stuff. This is crazy. Couple of weeks later.
Okay, so they're doing good so far. Standing, seeing out of trouble. Off the mountain, road east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Beautiful country at and best. As far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. I just love how Hi. Arthur Jose. journals. That's so cool. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> okay, let me take a look at my... Wow. Change of closing. Let me see. Okay. All right. This is cool. Oh, snap. That's a cool outfit. Wow. I mean, some of these outfits I wouldn't wear, but I bet I can buy some stuff, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to buy some. When I get enough money, I'm definitely going to go and buy some clothes. Nice. Okay. So I'm I'm able to access not only my clothing, but my weapons in this treasure box. Rambles through woods and plains. A field guide to the botanical bi kingdom. Okay. I love how Arthur is an avid reader. That's pretty cool. Definitely makes me get to know him a little bit more. Who's that? Is that your mom? Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocker. Wait, Spring Rocks, 1870. Huh. Either that's his mom or his wife that passed away. I'm not sure. I see another photograph, too. Three men sought. Oh, that's the bank robbery. Okay. And then have another photograph here, too. Okay. Who's she? Nothing. Okay. Now, in terms of shaving, because I know... Am I able to shave? Because I feel like the beard is a little bit too hot for me to sport. Probably not. Oh, wait. The shaving station. Right here. Trim. So... What? No. What about... Wait, that's the options? Ah, The thing is, I don't... Eh. Okay, whatever. I wanted to customize my beard, but since it's still early in the game, I don't have those options. Look at Dutch. Hell of a morning. Arthur. How's a cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in uh, black water. I know. Mm -hmm. well, if I find one, you can have it. 
Mm -hmm. You are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> I don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Item request. Dutch has asked for a pipe. Oh, come on, man. Alright, so let me go and see if I can get a quest going. Good morning. Arthur. morning. Ooh, Uncle, wake Hi. up. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you're sleeping. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a Must be great nice. Where we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. Yeah, do some work, old man. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Damn, okay. Well, you got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yes, I just love riding the wagon. This is so cute. Now, y'all yeah, been there for two whole weeks, and there's not a sight of water near the camp. Does that mean you guys just don't shower? Because that's disgusting. The crack in her pan. Yo, oh no. Maybe is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Hell yeah. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Are you okay? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Yeah, of course. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. All right, let me approach the horse because, you know, I like to help. I'm a good citizen of the law. All right, horsey. All right. Let me study it first because. Okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. pat. Let's pat the horse. Bendito. It's okay, baby. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on. Let's go. You're such a beautiful horse. What a good boy. What a good baby. Bendito. You're such a good boy. Well behaved. Good job calming down. I appreciate you. I really do. You're so cute. Alright, uh, I got your... I got your horse back. Come on, this way. To your owner. Bendito, this horse got spooked. Here. 
Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Anytime. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. All right. Now that is settled, let's go back to the wagon. Come on, let's go. Okay, damn. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Damn. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. I like how the girls are talking shit about the old man and give me compliments. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> so this is Valentine here? How nice. Ooh. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. Is he that useless? Everyone Other just people. takes dabs at him. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Drugs, yeah, Sheriff. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Oh, hell yeah. You put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, Smithfield's <laughs> the saloon. Ooh, oh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. General Just store here. Remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? I know I will. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Move out the way, What's sir. I don't want to run you over. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. What? Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the salute. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Coming from you, that's but a I compliment. Mean, you love me desperately. You're my favorite parasite. That's no. not. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut he up. he is everyone's is punching bag. Come this on. is funny. Everyone is shitting on Uncle. I got forty five dollars. So, so. What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Tobacco? I don't want no tobacco. Where's the biscuits? Oh, coffee. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. There, I got the coffee. Done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. All right, bye. I just want to check out the outfits, honestly. I need to update my wardrobe. I want to look cute, you know? You got some whiskey? Here's to your good health, my sir. It's not even <laughs> five o'clock, bro. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. So I got so drunk that I fell asleep. I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. 
A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Ken? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have oh, been no. good for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh no. I told him to lay there's low. Over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse oh, me. Oh no. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go get the damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Well, well. Get your hands off her. Or I'll whoop your ass. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. Oh, now there's no problem. Get out of here right now. Come on. Leave. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. No, I don't know what's going on between them, but that guy is suspicious Uncle, as hell. Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. All right. So this is the hotel. I'm assuming. I'm I hope she's okay. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. 2B, so... I assume this hotel is full of... Interesting characters here. Question oh, is... Now, oh, no. Question is, what am I gonna walk into? I'm ready. Oh shit. Oh hell no. Not on my watch. Hey, there are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Anyways. What are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. Got 61 okay. cents. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Uh huh. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. Oh my God! The bruise on her arm. Yo, it's a good thing I knocked his ass out. We're not doing any of that bullshit. Not while I'm here, that's for sure. I'm glad I got in just in time. Who knows what he'll end up doing to her I if I didn't uh, even okay up there? intervene. Yeah, everything's fine. He's just asleep that in the bed. Man. All right, I'll see ya. Goodbye. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being. Oh my God, her face. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get up. Shit. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. It is in Wow, wow, wow. Get back here, right? Wow, wow. Do we have a snitch? Time for me to do some running, if I do say so myself. Where he at? Where is this fool at? And he's all saying it dumb loud too. We need to talk, pal. Come on. Yeah. Come on. 
Oh, shit. Wow. He... He's in a very high predicament. Wow. If it isn't the consequences of your actions. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. No. Sorry. You're a snitch. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Now we won't have to worry. Because snitches get stitches, my boy. Snitches get stitches. Anyways. Alright, girl. Alright, so let me go and return this horse to Valentine. And then let's see to finding another quest for me to ride into this is lover of ladies and thank you for watching my video i'll see you next week